Some people say you should just uh, learn to spell. But there's sort of a religion to spelling. Some people get very attached to the way things are spelled and they look to dictionaries to say, well, I have proof that this is the right way to spell. But please understand this is a reason by authority. Is there really a correct way to spell or is it just an agreed upon social norm? Now it's good to have rules with spelling because it adds for consistency and legibility and understandability. But it is not essential to communication that everyone spells everything the same way. If you can get the gist of what someone is saying from what they're writing, that's essentially good enough. We shouldn't be spelling Nazi simply because we're good at it. And there are some OCD spellers out there that are simply very frustrated when they see something that doesn't meet their expectation of s symmetry. And I say OCD because it's very, um, the two concepts are very interrelated. I'm not saying you should never point out a bad spelling. I'm not saying that um, it's necessarily wrong. But one thing we need to be aware of if we want to be rational people is that spelling is not a good measure of intelligence. It is a measure of the ability to spell. So recently I've run into a couple, couple spelling Nazis and not that uh, it's a matter of being self-aware. It's a matter of realizing that yeah you're a little bit sensitive to spelling and some people want to have documents spelt in quote-unquote the proper manner. Um, and this is again a matter of authority. We're appealing to authority. We have this a book that was written to be authoritative about spelling. But interestingly, the hit, history of the dictionary isn't about being an authority. It was simply about keeping record of the spelling uses, the common ways people spell. So it reflected culture. And of course, language changes over, over time, and it also changes via continent. There are some different spellings on in Britain as there is in Australia, as there is in the United States. Both would say they speak in English, and one would say they speak proper English, and the others do not. And you can have regional dialects and regional uh, spelling in terms of from the East Coast to the West Coast. So spelling is a reflection of culture, um, but it's also a reflection of uh, personality. Um, some people just aren't that sensitive to spelling rules, and it has to do with, um, in my case, it has to do with dyslexia. I'm not that sensitive to the way words are spelled. Uh, reading is a very third um, function within my head. Um, writing is about the same. So I'm communicating, trying to at least communicate ideas. I'm not really super sensitive to exactly how ideas are normally put together. Um, and things are changing. Uh, we, we need to be aware of that. There's people out there that want to say, well, there's a proper way of doing it, and there's an improper way of doing it. Well, who's to judge? Who's the authority on these things? We all get to decide. And if you don't like a particular way of doing it, well, speak up. Give your particular opinion on the matter. But that's the whole idea of not appealing to authority. Um, is there a better reason? Is there something you didn't understand? Or, oh, I see what you mean. It makes that harder to read. Did you know this is the correct spelling of that? And pointing out from maybe the person who wrote it, it simply has a lack of knowledge. Or, oh, oh, actually, this is the way people normally say it. Or this is normally the way that's said. Um, that's what you're really saying. There isn't a matter of right or wrong. It's a matter of the culturally accepted process. And I say religion because I think spelling can be used as a sort of, re as an example of religion of how people go to an authority or go to a book and they say, well, this is the authority and we need to go by this particular book. We don't have to. We can actually write our own rules. Um, as a matter of Mark Twain's analysis of it is simply to acknowledge the rules so that you can break them um, and break them knowledgeably. Now, I don't do that. 
that I do that because, oh, I forget, or I'm too lazy to go back and check, double check, or triple check, or quadruple check. And it gets tiring after a while. So I get worn out trying to check all the little possible errors where they can be hiding because I'm just not th that sensitive to them. Some people can proofread to work and know very quickly 99% of what's wrong with it and fix it very quickly. That's not what I can do. I have to go through a very arduous practice. So anyways, just a thought on spelling and the religion of spelling. <laughs>